Hey y'all, it's me, Tiffy, and I'm back with another video for you guys. Um, we're still in this quarantine. We're still under the stay-at-home order, and I really just hope that you all are doing well, staying safe, and staying healthy. Um, I hope you all are still giving your businesses and your dreams a try. Don't give up. Um, this situation will pass, and when it does pass, you're going to need those things that you've been working on, that you've been trying, that you've been wanting to do. It's going to flourish, so please don't give up. Um, during this time, it's the time to be working on dreams, goals, working on your weight, because <laughs> it's very easy to to get to the refrigerator every few minutes you want a snack you want something to drink it's very very easy but we're not going to let the situation just overtake us um we're going to do our best and continue to thrive continue to be empowered um and we're going to get through it it, it is going to pass soon um so let's talk about some things that I've been doing lately, um, I, last uh, Friday was the first time that I actually left my house since like the 17th of March. I went and did the Walmart grocery pickup. Um, so when I got my groceries, I, I stopped by CVS because everywhere is out of stock for everything. So I did have to go in the store for CVS. So when I got home, I um, made myself like a bleach and water and soap solution in a bowl. I went outside with the old towel. Um, I opened my trunk and I literally wiped down every single item and um, with the water, bleach, and soap solution and laid it out on the towel. Had my daughter bring it in. Um, it, like, it's crazy, y'all. It's really, really crazy that this is what we are having to resort to. And we'll probably never be the same after this. It It is always going to be in the back of our mind. But that's okay because the God that we serve, he is all-knowing. Um, he knew this before we were born, before we were created. And his will is always what's best for us. So if he brought, if he brought us to this, he's going to bring us through this. So don't be discouraged. Um... Me and my daughter to have a nine-month-old and a five-month-old. We've been going on walks. We've been trying to think of creative things to do in the house. So it, it's it's a process, but we're we're gonna get through it. Like I keep saying, we're gonna get through it. So um, let's talk about let's get into this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some things that I've learned while uh, creating my YouTube videos. Uh, we're gonna give you an update on Tiff B's boutique. I am gonna get into a new business that I st am starting, and um, also I we're gonna get a little bit into goal setting and uh planning so so we're, we're you know we're getting it going we're getting it popping <laughs> all right so some things that i learned while creating my youtube videos first of all when i posted my first two videos i looked crazy <laughs> so i've learned i got an angle my phone gopro whatever i'm using i gotta pick a good angle I got to pick an angle that's flattering to me. Um, also, my my sound was a little like muffled sounding. I don't know what that was about. Um, my lighting, I didn't care for. Um, so those things I'm working on. Um, I did order a ring light that did come in. So you should be able to see that my lighting is just a little bit better today. Ah, I'm excited about that. Um, I did order a microphone yesterday. And guys, both of these things I ordered off of AliExpress. So if you don't have like a super big budget, please don't be discouraged. Please don't think you got to have all of this money. I want to say this ring light was like $10. Um, I, will, I will post the links down below to both of the things that I ordered. I ordered the ring light on March 22nd. It came um, on the 4th of April. So... You know, it's from China, so it's going to take a little bit longer, but some things have taken like a month or more, so I'm grateful that this did come as quickly as it did. Um, like I said, I just ordered the microphone yesterday. It's a microphone that I can actually plug into my phone and just sit it down and hopefully it can help my sound be a little bit better. Um, I have decided to go ahead and just use my phone, my Samsung Galaxy phone, to record my videos. 
And the reason I have made that decision is because on the GoPro, um, I made like a 20 minute video and I wasn't able to save it to my phone for some reason due to space. I mean, I deleted all types of apps and photos and I still wasn't able to download that video. So that's not a good idea for me to use that. Um, what I did do was order a SD card adapter and I ordered that from Amazon for like $3. And um, I put my SD card into that and stick it in my computer and then hopefully that'll get me to be able to download that video because Lord, all of that work, 22 minutes of video and then for me to have to re-record it or not be able to save it, no ma'am, no sir. So um, just an update on that. I also learned, I have to look into, I see in a lot of my videos, I'm looking at myself. And I mean, you want to look at yourself because look at, you know, you want to make sure that everything is in line. You want to make sure that you're looking good. You want to make sure that you're at the best angle, but it doesn't look nice when you post those videos. Like I posted a video and I um, looked at it on my smart TV. I need to look at you guys. I want to connect with you guys. I want to look directly at the lens, directly at the camera and not be looking at myself. Although I'm kind of cute, just a, just a hint of cute. <laughs> I think I told you all in my last video that I got braces. I got braces. A lot of people commented like, you didn't even need braces, but I did, guys, because you see, those are the two things that I wanted to close. I wanted to be able to smile from the side and not see this big old gap. So, yeah. Uh, so I have about a year of that. Alright, so those are the things that I want to talk about, about posting your YouTube videos, recording your YouTube videos. I did um, do a free trial. I want to say it was a seven-day free trial for Kind Master, Ken Master. I'll put a screenshot of their logo below that I downloaded through my Play Store. Um, seven-day free trial, and it was $33 for an uh, annual, so a one-year subscription for editing my videos. And if you look at some of my previous videos, um, that is the app that I use. Before my free trial runs out on the 9th, I do want to play around with another um, editing software system and just see what I like because um, I watched some other YouTube videos where a guy provided some other apps to use that's free. You know, you don't have to pay for it. You don't have that watermark like um, edited by so-and-so on the side. And so I do want to um, just try those things before I spend $33. Like I said, right now I'm in my free trial. All right. So let's also get into um an update about my boutique so i don't want to say it's at a standstill but it's kind of on a little pause right now because of the covid19 um for me personally i wanted to have my designs on my website so all of my clothes on my website are my personal designs i know how to sew but not good enough to manufacture clothes so I actually hired a manufacturer to make my designs come to life. Um, due to the COVID-19 situation, she did have to close her doors because she's not an essential employee. Um, and so that did put a little pause on the designs. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that because I did go ahead and like put myself out there. And I know, I know everybody's going through the same situation, but I'm looking like slightly crazy <laughs> but it's okay i'm not worrying about it i'm not fretting um what i did do was just say a prayer like god my goal right now i'm a customer service representative at a call center um and i'm not a, ashamed to say i make probably like twenty five hundred dollars or more a month um my goal is to at least make three thousand to 2500 plus not limited to but that's that's the minimum that i want to make a month um in order to quit my job so as soon as i see a steady three thousand dollars coming in per month hmm hmm okay while i'm grateful because i'm still working i'm currently working from home um i would love to have some of the free time that everybody else have but i i'm i'm definitely grateful um you all who are who have that free time please use it 
wisely. Don't sit up there and watch Netflix and stuff all day. Don't sit up there and eat and mess around all day. Get it popping. Get your goals lined up. Go ahead and start planning. Go ahead and start praying. Spend the time with God so that he can download some things into you. Um, One thing when I, my boutique, you know, came into a pause, I was like, God, what else can I do to make money? What else can I do to meet people's needs, to add value to their business? And, um, one of the insecurities that I had was a lot of people knew what they were good at. They knew their gifts. They knew they were a singer or preacher. They knew they were funny. They knew they could teach or, or was smart enough to be a teacher or, you know, I didn't really know that. A lot of people, you know, they would ask me like when I would say I want to be an entrepreneur, a lot of people would say like, well, Tiffany, what are you good at? What do you like to do? And I would feel down on myself, but deep down I knew the answer because God has already given us just because it's not like Sally's or May's or Tiffany's idea or it's different or it's not, you know, it's a little out of the box. God has given you every thing that you need to be everything that he has given you to be. He has already downloaded everything that he has for you to be in you. Don't be afraid. All you got to do is tap into it. So the first thing you got to do is just put God first. You got to pray. You got to read your word. You got to get under a ministry that can, like a pastor that can help you um, shape and mold you. And it's not necessarily like you might not have one-on-one -on -one time with the pastor. You might not be able to call him or text him directly. But if, if God has sent you to that ministry, the word that he preaches is going to, it's going to resonate with you. It's going to cause you to wake up. It's going to, and I can shout out my pastor, Pastor Kevin Williams, Greensboro, um, 1822 Sharp Road in Greensboro, North Carolina. God, watch, follow him on YouTube. Look, follow him on Facebook. Because I, when I tell you, I wouldn't be here right now, stepping out on faith, doing the things I'm doing without God, the guy in him, like, waking me up. I'm woke. <laughs> I woke because I'm telling you, like, the way that I'm stepping out on faith and the way my mindset has shifted from insecurity to just walking in me being me is crazy. Okay, so you just got to be you. It's okay. So like since I've been 16 years old, I've always worked at customer service jobs. I did waitressing. I did call centers. I didn't too much on myself, but guys, I was great at those things. Customer service was really like I was great at it. So that has brought me to my next business idea. My next business idea, I will be offering customer service customizing to whomever pastor churches businesses other entrepreneurs whatever you whatever entity you are business you are whatever you are i'm going to be offering customization um for your particular business so i'm looking at my laptop over here uh, these are the things that i will be offering i will be also offering an answering service so if you don't have a time to like answer your customers or be there one-on-one -on -one for your customers, I'll do that for you. What I will be doing is actually learning. I'm going to be learning your business, each and individual business. I want to learn it down to a T. And that way I can answer any questions that your consumers, that your customers may have. So I can be an answering service for you. Um, I can do appointment settings. So if you need me to call and schedule an appointment, if you want me to give a list, uh, if you want to give me a list of people to call to set appointments, I can do that for you. I can also do debt collecting for you. If you need me to call and try to set up payment plans for your consumer, your customer, I can do that for you. Um, some other things that I can do for you, I can respond to emails. So, so kind of in that same round of answering phones for you, any emails that you have coming in, you can have them generated to me. I'll answer those for you, um, in a timely matter, professional matter. I also, if you don't have the time to, um, I'll sit down with you and come up with some email templates that maybe you can send out. So tailored to your like some questions that your consumers, your question, your consumers or customers continually have, 
I can come up with, I can sit down with you and come up with some email templates that can help you better do your job. I also can come up with emails for your subscribers. So I can do, we can do holiday emails. We can do different sales and promotions that you will be offering. Um, we can do just like motivational emails, anything that's tailored to your audience, to your, to the needs of your consumer and your company. I can do that for you for your subscribers. The other thing that I will be um, offering is in-person customer service classes. So we all know we've called places and the customer service has either been great or it's been horrible. I can assure you, by the time I finish with your class, with your company, with your employees, everything will be turned around. Because it's, it's a way to say everything. The customer is always right. Do you have tailored solutions for your employees we're also i can sit down with you and go over some different things to make your business better and these are suggestions these are me as a customer service professional assisting you with having better customer service that will potentially that will grow your business and take your business to the next level so those are things that i can be offering i also can do um customization for logos we can sit down together. We can come up with different logos, different um, logo animations for you. Anything like that, I can do it. I can find somebody. We can work together. Um, I can also go ahead and create quality monitoring for you. Um, I know a lot of call centers, a lot of employees, they are basing their um, different ratings and things like that on the quality of the service that, you, that they, their employees are providing. So I can sit down with you if you want to go in and listen to your employees' calls, and we can go over some things that you care about, some highlight things that you would like for your employees to do. Um, I can teach them those things, and then we can go over a quality monitoring form for you. This just takes the stress out of everything for your company. I can be your your the voice for the customer service portion. I can be the voice for the customer service portion of your business. Let me do it. You don't have to. You don't have to stress yourself. You don't have to grack your brain. You have other things that you can be doing. Let me do it for you. And so that brings me to the last thing that we're going to be talking about. The last thing that we're going to be talking about is um, going ahead and planning and goal setting. The first thing you want to do, guys, is write everything down. Your ideas, your goals, your goals, your short-term goals, your long-term goals, your immediate goals, all of your goals, just even if they're ideas, even if you don't know how you're going to, like, complete them, you don't know how you're going to execute them, write them down. Because you know what you're saying? When you write it down, you're giving it some, sometimes you forget. Sometimes I can think of a great idea. And then I'm like, the next moment I'm like, dang, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what I just, what even I, I just thought myself. So you got to write it down. Write it down in that moment. Don't wait. Don't say, oh, when I get home, oh, put it, write it in your notepad in your phone. Send a text to somebody so you can remember. Write it down. Whatever I carry, like a little notepad in my purse at all times in the pen. Write it down so you can remember it. Write it down so you can remind yourself. This is what I said I'm gonna do. This is this is what I'm gonna do. You also write it down so when you're in your prayer time, you tell God, God, not my will, but God, Your will be done on heaven as it is in earth. God, your will is what's best for me. God, these are the things that you have downloaded in me. These are the things. If God brought it to your mind, he, this is what he is putting in your heart for you to complete. And what you have to do is you have to put him first. And you have to, whatever your goals are, it has to bring him glory. So everything that I do, it has to bring God glory. It cannot be about Tiffany. It cannot be about Tiffany. Tiff B's boutique. It cannot be about any anybody else but God. When you glorify him, when you magnify him, when you put him first, your everything you do will prosper. You can do nothing without God. Don't ever think that you can. Everything has to be done with God. So first thing you do, write down all your goals. Write down all your dreams. Write down all your plans. Write them down. The second thing you do is actually you're going to plan it out per month. 
So everybody, I want everybody to get you a sheet of paper like this. This is my boutique planning. I'm going to write the weeks down. I'm going to write notes down on this sheet for the month of April. What am I going to do with my boutique? And now for my boutique, I'm going to kind of customize it a little bit because since it is at a pause right now, but I'm still going to write down those goals every month. Tiffany, what are you going to do? What emails are you going to send out? What promotions are you going to offer? What are you going to post on your social media to get them engaged, to get everybody included in, to get more, to generate more followers and more likes on your page, to generate shoppers that stay, to get your audience to connect with you? What are you going to do? Okay. Then we want to go into the customer service aspect of my business. I need to write down in weeks. Now, I am going to start this. Um... I'm going to start this right now. I'm going to start this in the month of April by weeks. I've already started my plan. Um, I have a PowerPoint that I have started my first page and services that we offer. All of those things that I read to you, I have down in a PowerPoint and I have listed below um, what exactly those services include and what they mean. I need a plan. I need to write down this plan in my book and not only that date by day or week by week or however you want to do it on the weekends. If you're still working, if you have unlimited time at home, you need to, you need to take a, a slot, a couple of slots out of your day. Your first slot, you want to do prayer. And reading your word. And you're going to ask God, when I go to make my plans, God, you download them. You give me ideas, God. You show me. You lead me. You guide me. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed. You will not be. Then you want to go ahead and, and do your plan. That's every day. Every day you want to have your prayer time with God. You want to read your word every day. Then you want to go into your planning. Like I said, whether it's weekly, whether it's on the weekends, whether you got to do it at least weekly or a couple times after week. And if you want to go as far as planning every single day out, honey, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Huh, this slot in the morning, I'm going to go on my morning walk. I'm going to come back. I'm going to fix breakfast. I'm going to shower. I'm going to spend an hour praying and reading my word. I'm going to take the kids out to the park. Whatever it is right now that you're doing now, you're not working right now. You have a lot of time throughout the day. And we're not on social media all day looking at what other people are doing. That's something that I got to work on. I have fallen back a lot. We're not on social media all day. Some of y'all might want to take a little fast from social media. Um, just recently, I did a four-day fast. Now, my church did a six-day fast. No food at all. No TV and no social media. I made it four days. God still, <laughs> I hope he still rewards me. But I did four days, no food, no TV, no social media. God rewards I reward some things only come up out by fasting, by praying, and by reading your word. So we want to do those things, guys. We want to get 2020. Don't let COVID-19 block you. Don't let COVID-19 stop you. Don't let it derail you. Still go forth and do everything that God has put in your heart and in your mind to do. But just remembering just to keep him number one and to keep him first. Guys, I pray that this has blessed you. I pray that this has touched you in some type of way and affected you and helped you in some type of way. If it has, please share. Please subscribe. Please like. Please hit that notification bell. And if this did, guys, comment down below and let me know. Let me know some things that you're doing during this time. Um, just let's bounce off of each other. Let's comment off of each other. I mean, let, let's... Let's socialize. Let's get it. 2020 is your year, no matter what it looks like right now. No matter what it looks like right now. It's still 10 months. What? No, nine months. We still got nine months to get it going. We're not stopping. We're not slowing down. We're not. This can still be a great year for you. All right, guys, please, please, please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. On our next video, I'm going to show you my filled out 
um, board that I have here. And I want you guys to um, go. You can email me yours or anything. Um, if I can be of any help, please email me. ShopTiffB at Outlook.com. Um, I, I will help you in any way that I can. Um, if you want to shoot me your resumes, if you want whatever you want to shoot me um, via email to help you, some questions that you may have, or maybe some other videos that you would like. Lord God, we say first that we thank you. We praise you, God. Thank you for letting us see another day. God, thank you for giving us another chance. God, we thank you that your will is what's best for us. We thank you that you will have nothing less than the best for us. God, we ask you to touch the home and the lives of everybody that watches this video. Thank you for covering our families and our household. Thank you for covering our communities. Thank you that COVID-19 is not powerful than you. You have all power. God, your will is what's best for our lives. And even if it doesn't look or feel good, God, we still thank you. God, we ask you to go into the homes and to the lives of each person that watches this video. God, we ask you to download business ideas into them, career ideas. God, we ask you to release stress from their lives. We ask you to release pain, guilt, shame from their lives. And God, we ask you to download joy. God, we ask you any dreams, any goals, any words, any stress that they may have. God, we ask you to touch it right now. God, in your name we pray.